Uh, Jonas uh, Suetamo, who of course played Chewbacca in the sequel trilogy, who I, okay. actually, who I actually met out at Disney. One I night. was going to say, you met him. Yeah, I got a picture with him. Huge, mm -hmm. huge guy. Yeah. It's intriguing enough. It's Star Wars. Of course, we're going to tune in and check it right. out. Right. Get ready, get set. It's a first look with the O Brother Podcast. Welcome back to another first look with the O Brother Podcast, Mike. We're back. We're going to do a first look on the Acolyte, which is going to be the... Okay. I think it's going to be the next live action streaming series, Star Wars streaming series on Disney+. Plus. Um, it's it's slated as coming out June 4th is when it's supposed to premiere. Okay. Tuesday, June 4th, 2024. Now, um, we'll, we'll, we'll watch the trailer first, and then we'll come back and... and okay. A little bit okay and, you know. this is one of the few things that didn't get axed yeah that's right all right it's been it's been kicked around and talked about for quite some time but it, it's it, clearly it's a go at this point so yeah all right let's take a look at it close your eyes your eyes can deceive you. We must not trust them. Tell me what comes into your mind. Life. Balance. I see fire. Someone is killing Jedi. It doesn't make sense. What happened? I sensed the darkness. This isn't about good or bad. This is about power, and who is allowed to use it? What is that? Okay. So now this is, uh, you saw it said two episode premiere June 4th. Okay. Uh, and now this is set, this is like, just to give you some context, okay? Right. This is like a hundred years before the events of the first film, meaning The Phantom Menace. So you got to okay. like wrap your head around the time frame. Right? Okay. So we don't know anybody. No. And I, it was very intentional from, from the little I know to sort of, you know, and I don't know whose decision that was or how they landed on that or they came to agree on that, but it it doesn't really handcuff them to any particular point in time or way they're going to approach this series, right? It, because it's not in between the original right. trilogy. It's, you know, it's just way, it's a, way out on its own. So we can't really expect anything. Although I wondered if that was Chewbacca at one point. Well, it's interesting but you should say that. So... Uh, now this is this is the the real brief, if you want to even call it synopsis on uh, IMDb. It's a Star Wars series that takes viewers into a galaxy of shadowy secrets and emerging dark side powers in the final days of the High Republic era. Hardcore Star Wars fans know all about this through the expanded universe, the books, mm -hmm. the, you know, all this sort of stuff that we're just not educated on. So right. um, I'm taking it very much just based on kind of surface level stuff. Now, one of the only people you probably recognize is Carrie Ann Moss, who you saw right. there playing a Jedi character. Right. Um, so she's in the film. You mentioned uh, the Wookiee. Right. Uh, Jonas uh, Suetamo who of course played Chewbacca in the sequel trilogy, 
Well, okay. actually, we actually met out at Disney. One I night. was going to say you met him. Yeah, I got a picture with him. Huge, mm -hmm. huge guy. Yeah, big guy. Super, super, super nice guy. Yeah, too. really nice guy. But he's playing a character, a Wookiee character that isn't Chewbacca. It's a, okay. I think it's a Wookiee Jedi character, I think. Yeah, because um, it doesn't quite look the same. It's called like Kelnaka. Kelnaka yeah. is the name. Okay. But uh, uh, just a couple, Amanda Stenberg, uh, Daphne Keene, Jody Turner-Smith, Jonas I mentioned, uh, Amy Sang, Carrie Ann Moss, on and on and on. But Carrie Ann Moss was really the only one, other than Jonas, that stood out to me. I really am not mm -hmm. familiar with a lot of the, the, the rest of the cast. And there's no droids, but maybe the technology isn't there yet. Although I, I found this cast to be a lot more diverse <laughs> well, it's interesting, too, because, you know, again, some, some of the little that I read about it, where if you look, it's very sort of clean and a lot of bright colors and right. a little bit more reminiscent of what you saw in the prequel trilogy with like Naboo and the planets, the way Lucas, everything was very bright and shiny. Right? Yeah. When and you think and about the, the original trilogy, the totally different. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know dark gritty grainy all of that but this was i believe a kind of a, a renaissance period right in the galaxy and and as as the synopsis says really the early rising of the dark side so the stories i believe are supposed to be written from the dark side characters the sith mm -hmm. which we haven't seen before yeah you know so that's that's going to be a very fresh kind of take on and i i guess depending seen. on how it does yeah will i continue because i mean they're so far back they yeah. could do a number of you know series before they get anywhere close they're so. leaning uh, i think more into the martial arts in this one too which you can see in the teaser that's pretty mm -hmm. clear uh, but yeah, I mean, it looks, it's, it's, it's intriguing enough. It's star Wars. Of course, we're going to tune in and check it right. out. Right. Right. Uh, but it doesn't mean we're going to love it. It's not a guarantee yeah. these days, you know? Yeah. So, I, you know, I'm glad something survived the chopping block. So mm -hmm. we'll have something to watch this summer. It's, Notice yeah. that, you know, every color imaginable was there as a lightsaber. Yes. It reminds me of Homer, you know. Yeah, With Leslie the guy. Leslie Headland is the primary writer. She's okay. the primary writer here. So, and I think is she new to the universe. I believe so, and I and I believe she's you know basically like a Star Wars fan, which some okay. people uh, are okay with that. Other people hate that. That that's how they, that's how Kathleen Kennedy and and mm -hmm. Disney Lucasfilm kind of bring people on board now. You know. Yeah. As opposed to someone like, and I'm not saying she's not, I don't know Leslie as a writer or anything like that, mm -hmm. but as opposed to Favreau, who already had a cachet and a deep resume as a filmmaker, right? Um, but is also an admitted deeply knowledgeable Star Wars fan too. So Correct. sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't work. So we'll see what yeah. happens with this. But anyways, I mean, I'm rooting for it. So I hope it absolutely, works. Absolutely. Absolutely. I'll, I'll I take hope it's the, like an Andor. I mean... Look at Andor. That love Andor. Fantastic series. And I that's not that's not back. among the that's not among the favorites of of most diehard Star Wars yeah. fans from what you see. Which you know, I don't know. Surprise! It's, that that was so well done. The Acolyte, two season, uh, two episode premiere rather coming Tuesday, June fourth, twenty twenty four. It's going to do it for another episode of the Oh Brother Podcast. Been your host Stan Smith. Long time as always, my brother, the same mother, Mike Smith, and we will see you next time. Bye, everyone.